Hello Libra, I'm here to give you a love reading. It's your season. So today, you know, it's September 23rd. Uh, so Libra season is from September 23rd to October 22nd. So we're going to see what's going on in your love life from the 23rd of September through October 22nd. Um, dry mouth. Okay, let's see what's going on. So I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle deck and I'm using the Love Oracle Island Time Wellness. All right. Libra, I just did your reading um, before this one. It wasn't a love reading. It was just the um, general reading for your season. And I was picking up on a few people you were dealing with, okay? Maybe you're one of the few, who knows? But um, some of you could be uh, dealing with a few people. Maybe you're dating, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, getting to know other people. Some of you could have had some disappointment in your love life. Okay, but if that was in the past, leave it in the past, continue to move forward. There is someone out there for you. Okay, trust and believe that. All right. And sometimes, you know, when we have bad relationships, it's kind of hard to move forward and put ourselves out there again. You know, it's for some of us, you know, we we don't want to put ourselves out there to get hurt again. But, you know, the reality is we're going to be disappointed in a relationship. and We're going to get hurt. I mean, that's the reality. But it's all about not letting the, the patterns repeat itself. OK, for example, like being in a, a relationship where somebody continues to cheat on you, like it's it's. It's um, choosing not to allow people like that in our lives anymore or being in an abusive relationship, choosing not to allow people like that in our lives, you know, and sometimes, you know, the reality is we find out later how people are. But, you know, it's setting boundaries in the beginning. It's letting people know what we will and will not tolerate. You know, communication is definitely key. OK, and it's uh, having self-worth, too. OK. That plays a huge part. What else, what's going on in your love life, Libra, from now until October 22nd? From now until October 22nd, what's going on in your love life? Oh, unacquainted love. Okay, so Libra, you could be dealing with some unacquainted love. You could be dealing with someone who's not giving you the same love that you're giving them or vice versa. Okay, you could be dealing with someone or you could be this person. Maybe you're not feeling this person anymore, the person you're dealing with. Uh, it could be somebody you had just met. All right. Um, it's important that you don't lead anybody on. If you're not feeling this person, just be honest about it. You know, um, any signs of craziness, you know, get help. OK, <laughs> just and, and this is not funny. I'm, I'm tired of seeing women um, get hurt over men who can't accept no for an answer. You know, and sometimes it's women that's doing this, too. So if you get a hint that somebody is just not all there and they just won't take no for an answer, you need to take drastic measures um, for your safety. OK, be mindful. OK, uh, but it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right, there's children. There's also release your ex. Some of you could uh, have children with your ex, okay? And you're tied to them because you have children. Um, some of you are continuing to connect with your ex for some reason. Um, and it could be because you have children. It very well could be. Um, the person that you're dealing with could have children and maybe they're not releasing their ex, okay? All right. It says your love life is being affected by children and then release your ex as the time has come to clear your energy. Um, mm, some of you could have children with this person. You could actually be in a relationship with this person and maybe you've um, broken up and made up with this person several times. And right now, maybe you're in the breakup stage. You know, maybe you're not feeling this person anymore. Or this person's not feeling you. It, it can just be a call for you to release this ex, release any of this toxic uh, energy you have. Some of you could have made certain vows, okay? Maybe vowed to never be happy or vowed to uh, never be respected by your man 
or your woman. It could be really anything. So you need to take a look at these vows, okay, that you've made with this person. This can be a spiritual type of contract, okay? You need to uh, make yourself aware of, all right? This is a thing. This is real, okay? But you do have kids, and the kids are in between you guys. You guys may not be getting along, but you have children. You're trying to get along for the sake of your children, but some of you, it's like it's not going to work out. It's... um. And you should never stay together for the children, especially if the relationship is toxic, you know, or if you're not happy with the person that you're with, okay? Um, and I know it's hard. It's hard, okay? What else is going on here? Um, what else is going on in your love life? Yeah, some of you are meeting men. Or you could be single but just dating around and you're like meeting men who have children and maybe you're not wanting that or you're meeting somebody who has children and you don't want that or maybe you're open to it but the person you're with is just really focused on their kids it's just an energy of that as well okay and it's and since you are in the dating pool you know maybe feeling disappointed in a, in a way you're you could be going back to your ex or your ex could be showing up again <laughs> you know it is mercury retrograde i can't remember when mercury retrograde is going to end but your ex could be showing back up again and you're just needing to be done with it what else is going on in libra's love life um deception we got codependency and engagement oh we okay so um some of you are maybe not being honest with yourself as far as like what you're truly wanting okay maybe you're needing to express how you truly feel to this person or maybe set some healthy boundaries it's just an energy of just being deceptive and being deceptive could just be actually straight up lying or just withholding some type of information okay so it could be a call for you to be upfront, or you could um desire for this person to be up front with you i feel like there could be somebody else in the picture here okay some uh, there could be a baby mama and the baby mama this person here is digging up in the pocket so maybe this person has um somebody else on the side that he is supporting okay maybe this woman is going in his pocket because she's being um she's she's trying to rob him maybe <laughs> Maybe this person with the mask on, the woman, she's probably distracting the man so the girl can like get in his pocket. So it, this looks like some scamming type stuff. <laughs> okay. So scamming type stuff. Okay. So uh, and, and this, <laughs> somebody, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Cause I feel like this is like scammer type energy. And this could be because maybe you're just trying to get with this person to get the bag okay maybe you're just um maybe trying to feed your kids and so you're scamming dudes or something you know or um trying to come up on the bag it's just, this is the energy that i'm getting okay this is not all of you but others of you it's just that there's a need to be upfront, be open and be honest about what you're wanting or there could be the, per the person that you're with is maybe um not straight up like this person's withholding information and so or has withheld information and so that's why you're not feeling this person anymore um it could be that as well the codependency says addictions are affecting your romantic life so there could be an issue with you know addiction substance abuse or just being codependent okay you could be codependent of, uh, on this per of this person or the other person can be codependent some of you could have a child uh, that could be getting in the way of your love life. Maybe your, your child uh, or children are codependent. Maybe you're taking care of your children. Maybe your children are adults. And maybe you're taking care of them or you're taking care of your, your, your children's kids. <laughs> and so therefore, it's like you're not, you don't have a life of your own. This is what I'm getting, okay? So it's important to set some healthy boundaries, you know, especially if you're looking for love. You know, you have to create new space in order to you know, welcome that new new love in. Of course, do some soul searching, you know, removing what no longer serves you. And sometimes other people in our lives could affect that. It can block us from receiving love or from um, focusing on ourselves. So we have engagement here. And engagement says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So um, mm. With this engagement, I'm going to have to get some more insight on this here because this is kind of throwing me off a bit. Um, I did see in the other reading, Libra, that oh, I got a vision of someone dressed all in white. So some of you could be um, getting engaged or getting married 
from now the 23rd until October 22nd. Okay, I do see that or did see that. Um, the engagement, um, I feel like some of you are needing to open yourself up more in order to welcome in like new love or an opportunity for new love here. I feel like you're needing to leave this codependency type energy behind so you can attract a genuine relationship. It just seems like Libra, for some of you, there is like a pattern here when it comes to your romantic life. It's like some type of pattern that needs to be broken so you can actually um, have a genuine loving relationship. Now, the reality is we're going to be disappointed in our relationships. It's going to happen. We're going to get our feelings hurt. I, we get it. But I feel like what you're really needed, needing is someone who really respects you, someone who encourages you to be independent, someone who's independent themselves, someone who's not jealous or um, like even narcissistic in a sense. I feel like you're not needing that anymore. Okay. So it's important for you to create new space for you to attract loving and valuable relationships. Okay. Um, and there definitely will be a call for you to do some soul searching here as well. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Okay, what is this unacquainted love? Unacquainted love. Unacquainted love. Unacquainted love. Unacquainted love. Okay, and then what is the deception? What is deception? Deception. Okay, children. Children. What is the children? Children. 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 Okay, release your ex, release your ex. Okay, wow, that card, the runner came up. It says codependent. Oh, Lord. Okay, um, codependency. Look at that engagement ring. Wow. Uh, codependency. Some of you guys could have your ex coming back to propose to you. Okay, codependency, codependency. Oh, that card. Okay, karmic relationship. God, dog, Libra. Engagement, engagement. What is engagement? Okay, love. Okay, so unacquainted love. We have unacquainted love and talking. So talking, interested, conversing, more awaited messages arrives, text, call, email, hovering. Some of you could be talking to someone online or getting to know someone online. Um, you could be anticipating their, um, their messages. Some of you could have been left on read. Okay, you could be feeling like this person's not really feeling you anymore because they're not giving you the same energy as they were in the beginning. Um, but this is definitely an energy of like surfing the web, um, talking with other people. Okay, somebody could be awaiting your message, but uh, I do feel like Libra, some of you are waiting on somebody's messages, like waiting to see if they read it or responded to you. Okay, and so they could be taking their damn time and, and that can make you feel like they're not really feeling you like that. Okay, and then the children and runner. Okay, so for some of you, your children could be an issue for some men or some women. And you know what? It is what it is. It's important to be upfront and honest. If you have children, say, I have kids. Just, do you want more kids? Or um, will you be with somebody that um, has children? You know, um, put it out there. So it says runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So it could be that somebody is running away because you have kids and that could be a problem. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You got to, you got to ask the person if they are open or okay with you having children. If they're not deuces, you know, there will be somebody out there that will ex ex accept your children. I also see here that for some of you, your children could have ran off uh, the person that um, you were with or interested in, okay? Um, I also see that some of you are, there's someone that is um, like a serial dater, okay? They're looking for someone that is like stepdaddy or stepmommy. You know, they're looking for someone to be supportive, like financially even, or looking for, like, I was hearing like a sugar daddy, <laughs> okay? So, I, I was I was feeling that energy too. This is someone who would like to have someone in their life that could support their children and support them as well. Okay, financially. So release your ex engagement ring, Lord. So some of you, your ex could have came back and proposed to you. Um, 
you could you could have found out that your ex is now engaged to someone else so it says engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union okay so some of you are um some of you could be going through a divorce okay uh, i know it says engagement but for some of you you could be going through a divorce or the engagement has been broken off okay i also see here that um you're needing to release your ex in order to excuse me oh that was gross in order to create uh space for like i said you know a loving valuable relationship okay so you're definitely needing to release your ex the energies from your ex you need to release that some of you could say oh i'm over my ex but there is still some type of trauma or something lingering around okay that you're needing to end you know tie up the loose ends okay there is someone here that is interested i see here there's someone that's interested but i was hearing that they that's like a red flag they don't want to deal with exes they don't want to deal with baby daddy baby mama drama they don't want to deal with any of that okay um I'm also seeing here that you need to do things different. Your ex could have been somebody who's not about marriage. They may not be about commitment. You need to push for that as you move forward, especially if you're opening yourself up in the dating world. You need to express, this is what I'm wanting. I want, I'm somebody who wants to be married. Is that what you're wanting? Find that out in the beginning and then, you know, then you go from there. If, if you, if it's somebody who is not interested in being married or uh, being in a commitment, you need to be done with that. Okay. Don't repeat the cycles. Like I said, some of you could have been in a relationship where this person was commitment phobic. It's time to do things different as you move forward also deception uh it says i like you wow so somebody could be pretending to like you okay just to get what they want uh it could be the other way around libra okay it says i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date okay so somebody could um express they like you but they could have a, a hidden agenda okay so it's important for you libra to pay attention to the action okay if somebody is is speaking talking good game they need to make sure or you need to make sure that they are following through with actions their actions need to be need to speak louder than words same with you if you're telling someone that you like them you want to get to know them you know um you know act like it you know don't don't just text some messages and then leave the person on red i mean that's not really cool you know what i mean so it's being open and honest as well okay um somebody also may like you and they are keeping it from you they're not really expressing that to you okay they're kind of withholding it and it could be withholding it for their own reasons maybe because they got somebody else on the side you know uh, i feel like it will play out for you guys and you will recognize that but i do feel like somebody is withholding how they truly feel okay they're flirting but they're not putting the action out there and it could be because they're a little bit shy as well okay codependency and karmic relationship lord it says fleeting triggers turmoil resentment reasons letting go and loving you so some of you could be in a karmic relationship or you were in a previous karmic relationship it's definitely a call for you to, to learn definitely a call for you to learn from this um relationship um there's a lot of turmoil in this relationship some of you oh my gosh i was getting a vision of um who was it blue face and who was that girl and Krishan rock okay beating each other over the head okay some of you libras could be in a physical um uh, violence with your partner and that is unacceptable you have to be careful with this i do see like physical aggression here it's time to break the cycle. Some of you could have seen, you know, physical um, domestic violence, you know, growing up. And so it's it's nothing to you. It's like, you know, you, you carry the same mess into your own relationships now. So it's really important that you don't continue to engage in this. This is not good. This is like a toxic codependent relationship for some of you okay for others of you it's a call for you to learn from your past karmic relationships okay you don't ever really need anybody okay it's all about looking at the person as an addition to your life okay so it's really important um i do feel like there's some of you out there who could just feel like you need someone it's like a, it's definitely like a codependent 
type of energy that you don't need to be a part of, okay? You need to really love yourself or the person that you are with are very dependent on you, okay? This doesn't have to be a, rela a romantic relationship. This can be a karmic relationship with a mother, uh, a father, uh, a sister, a brother. It can really be anyone. It's a karmic relationship that's not healthy, okay? And some of you are holding on or somebody's holding on to you for comfort, okay? Because they don't know anything else. They don't want to grow, okay? But they don't want to leave. It's like an energy like that. So be mindful of that. And then the last card we have here is engagement with love. Beautiful. Unconditional love, self-love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Wow. So it's really important for you guys to have self-love. Once you start to have self-love and see yourself as someone of value, you're going to start attracting people who value you and respect you. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, you know, we do get hurt in relationships and in our interactions with humans. That's just what it is. But, and as far as love, if you're really looking for love, you have to really love yourself. Okay, you have to know what it means to love yourself. You have to really feel it because someone can tell when you love yourself because they'll they'll love you. They'll love you. They'll do right by you. Okay. So it's really important for you to have self-love. Okay. Also unconditional love as well. Okay. Um I was hearing uh, no strings attached. Oh, Lord. Okay, so just be mindful of no strings attached type connections. Be mindful of that. Um, let's see. And this can also just represent an engagement as well. I do see an engagement here for some of you Libras taking your um, relationship to a, the next level. If it's not an actual engagement, like a proposal, this is taking your relationship to the next level. Okay. Um, and I feel that because... I do feel like some of you are really loving yourself. You're really putting yourself first. And the person that you're dealing with, they see that. And they're like, you know what? This is somebody I want to keep around. Okay? So be really mindful of this. Love yourself. Okay? Love yourself. All right. So that's the end of your reading, Libra. I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe, um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month, and God bless.